Do a search on the internet for a multimeter and it's easy to understand why so many people become confused trying to choose one. The five factors I'm going to share with you of usage, function, durability, safety and cost will make choosing the right meter a lot easier. And look, if you stick around till the end of the video, you'll find out how to access a free beginner's course to help you use your meter to test and troubleshoot cables. G'day, my name is Gary, and you're watching the channel that reduces the stress of using audio and video gear. If you enjoy these easy to understand tutorials, then please consider subscribing. The first question to ask yourself is, why do you even need a multimeter? Is it just to have in your kit bag to troubleshoot a mic cable? Or is it for everyday use as a tradesperson? The reason why you should ask this question is there's a really big difference between a hobby meter and a professional meter. A multimeter used by a professional is much more durable and is going to withstand more bumps and knocks than just an economical meter. They're supplied with better quality test leads, more suitable for everyday use. And look, there's also an important safety reason as well, and I'll talk about this a little bit later. For general testing, these are the features that you're looking for. Voltage, continuity, resistance, and amps. These are generally the basic functions found on all meters. But if you're planning on building speaker cabinets and electronic crossovers, you'll also need the ability to test frequency, capacitance, and inductance. Now, don't, don't let me lose you. These terms might go right over your head at this stage, but just don't worry about that at the moment. When manufacturers build products with cheaper materials, it stands to reason that durability is compromised. I've seen some really convincing looking meters that have been made to look like a name brand meter on the outside, but the price in itself gives them away as a knockoff. These meters won't be shockproof and worse still, are not accurate. Generally, of course, you get what you pay for, so it's better to choose a quality meter and wait for a reduction in price. While I think of it, if you're enjoying this video, then please give us a thumbs up or share the video with your friends. Generally, all multimeters will measure line or household power supply. But if you're crazy enough to use these cheap meters for this purpose, you're putting yourself at a high risk of electrocution. Yes, you could even die. Cheap meters do not have the protection you need to perform these tasks. Not only the meter, but more importantly, the test cables you're holding because they're so flimsy and brittle. If the handpiece breaks, you'll come in contact with a lethal voltage. Testing mains or household power should only be carried out by a qualified electrician. And look, there's plenty of user-friendly methods of testing mains power, and I'll reference them in the description below in this video. If you're anything like me and you don't want to pay more for a multimeter than you have to, is it okay to buy a low-priced meter? Well, I've always found that manufacturers build products with cheaper materials to meet a price point. For the basic testing needed for hobby work, you only need to spend around $10 to $50. But remember, you get what you pay for. If you think now you should be considering a more professional meter that is more reliable, accurate, and safer to use around high voltages, you should spend no less than $100. If you'd like some more information about the pricing of some popular meters, I've included a link below in the description. So, which multimeter is best for you. If you're starting out and only need a meter for basic testing, then set your budget and shop around for the best deal. To help extend the life of your meter, consider choosing one with a rubber case to help protect it from bumps and knocks. If you're a qualified tradesperson and you're going to be using your meter to test mains or household voltages, then purchase a quality brand like Fluke or another that's built with a better case and is supplied with quality test leads. If you're hoping to do more advanced circuit board work, including speaker crossovers, you'll need some extra features like frequency, capacitance, and inductance. Would you like to know how to get free access to the multimeter course for beginners? Then click on the link in the description section of this video. We'll send you out an email with a link to get access to my training website. 
What about you? Have you had some experience using different types of multimeters? Then please share your stories in the comments section below this video. And if this is the first time you've watched a video from our channel and you'd like to learn more about audio and video gear in a simple and easy to understand format, then please consider subscribing. And don't forget to click that little bell icon to receive a notification when we upload our next video. Until next time, I'll catch you later.